Rev up your engines! It's time for Scotty Kilmer Dunham. If you're worried about your car unintendedly accelerating like mad, stay tuned. Because today I'm going to tell you the truth about unintended acceleration. Now in the past 43 years that I've been working on cars, I've actually driven customers cars that just started accelerating wildly on their own. But in these older cars it was always a simple thing like a sticking accelerator cable. Because in these older cars when you step on the accelerator pedal it just pulled a cable that opened the throttle. As you can see, stepping on the pedal pulls the cable in. Which opens the throttle as you can see. So if the vehicle started accelerating like mad and you couldn't control it, the throttle cable would be stuck and you could pick the throttle up with your toe. You could just get your foot, put it under the pedal and pick it up to stop it from accelerating. And then later, you could either lubricate the cable or replace it. But if you look at a late model car like this 2007 Camry, you'll notice they don't have any accelerator cables. Because instead of using a cable, they use computer sensors and electric motors to make the throttle open. So when you step on the accelerator pedal, you're actually operating a computer mouse that's at the top. That computer sensor then tells the computer how far you've stepped on the gas, and then it sends a signal to an electric motor on the throttle that opens the throttle that far to make it go that fast. So if there's a problem in the computer system of the car, it can unintendedly accelerate. Now I've never actually seen one of these Camrys do that unintended acceleration, but here's what you do if it ever happened to you. Instead of freaking out when the car starts to accelerate, simply shift the car from drive into neutral. Then the car will immediately stop accelerating because the engine and transmission are no longer physically connected. Once you put it into neutral, the engine is no longer sending power through the transmission to the wheels, so it can't accelerate anymore. And for the life of me, I can't understand the big hubbub that people are making about this unintended acceleration. Because it's so simple to just shift from drive to neutral. Now some people say turn the key off, but then you lose power brakes and power steering. All you gotta do is shift it into neutral and the car won't accelerate anymore. And sure, if you've got a late model car and it does accelerate unintentionally, you want to take it in to get it fixed. But it's not a dangerous situation, as long as you know to shift it into neutral if it does start accelerating on its own. And personally, that's why I like driving older cars. They got accelerator cables on them. You can just replace the cable really cheaply if it ever happens. Sometimes modern technology works against your own best interests. And remember, if you've got any car questions, just visit scottykilmer.com.